What's going on everyone? It's Brody back in with another tennis question and today's tennis topic is going to be about lead tape. Yes, you heard me right, lead tape. Now you may be wondering what in the world does lead tape have to do with tennis, especially if you're new, you're like, why are you even talking about this? And I'll tell you, as you continue to grow as a player, not only in your skills, your level and everything else, you're going to want to change your racket. That's just natural because you evolve as a player. So when you want to change your racket, there's going to be things that you notice that you want more of. Say you want more stability, you want more control, you want more power, you want the weight to shift because you feel like you do better with this type of racket. And the reason that lead tape is so important is that it's one way to add weight to a racket in order to change how it plays to better suit what you want to do. So rather than going out and going out and having to buy a brand new racket, you can just go ahead and buy some lead tape, put a little bit more weight on the racket, and then your problem may be fixed from there. So the main thing about lead tape you have to know is you have to be safe handling it. It is lead after all. So I always recommend wash your hands before using it. Once you put it on, wash your hands after. We don't want lead anymore in our system than it has to be. But if you wanna put gloves on while, while administering the lead tape, you can, it's fine, go ahead. I personally don't, so it's up It's up to each their own. Other than that, lead tape, one of the main things that you wanna know is where you need to put it in order to actually get the effect that you want. So there's gonna be a few main ways that you can talk about lead tape. The first is gonna be at the top of your racket. So in the top of the hoop, like where the top of the strings are. If you put the lead tape on there, you're adding weight to the to the head of the racket. So when you swing, the head will swing faster, creating a little bit more power and a little bit more just head speed, which will help increase just your velocity coming off on the ball as you hit it back. That is one of the main ways more people look to gain more power, as well as because you're increasing the weight of the racket, you're going to get a little bit more extra power from that as well. Now, another way that you can think about this is gonna be at the three and nine o'clock positions on a tennis racket. This can be either or, if you wanna do it on the three, if you wanna do it on the nine, you can do it that way. If you wanna do it only one on the three, one on the nine, meaning one strip and one strip, that's completely fine too. Now, the reason you would do that is if you want the racket to be more stable. If you're using a lighter weight racket and you've gained muscle or you feel like the racket is a little bit too light for you now, or when you hit with the ball, that it when, excuse me, when you hit with the racket, the ball makes the racket twist in your hand, that's when you can that's when you could potentially look into adding lead tape at the three and nine o'clock position to help stabilize the racket even more that extra weight is going to make sure that the racket stays stable, whereas the ball does not have as much of an impact on it while it is while it is hitting the string. And then finally, if you just wanna increase the static weight overall, you can put some lead tape down at the bottom at the six, six o'clock position, or if, you, or if you really want to, you can also put it in the throat of the racket as long as it is open. Most of them are, I don't know of any closed racket that is made in the modern era, but Putting lead tape in the in the throat of the racket, that'll help just increase the overall static weight of it. You didn't put it too far up, you didn't put it in the handle, so it's not going to really affect the racket as much besides just make it heavier. Then as you then as you look to put the racket into the handle, you can make the racket a little bit more head light. So that so that way when you're swinging you have you feel as if you have a little bit more control over the racket head it's not swinging as fast so you have more time in order for you to really choose what you want to do with the ball you can add leather excuse me you can add lead tape to a handle some people the the way that most people do it is that they will just take off the both if you have an overgrip the overgrip as well as the base grip then once that is off, you put the lead tape strips under, on the base of the racket itself. You can do that on as many of the sides of the racket as you want, as many strips. Then you put the base grip back on or you have to go buy a brand new base grip and then put the over grip back on. You have now successfully added lead tape to the grip of your, to the grip of your racket and it is now going to be heavier, but it's gonna be more head light than it would be head heavy. 
So this is just a very basic overview of lead tape and its uses in tennis rackets. If you have any more questions about lead tape, comment down below what you want to know, what you want to see. I'll do my best to get back to the, to get back to all of you. As well as if you like the video, leave a like on it. Share this video with a friend if they are considering lead tape or that you think they've never heard of it and it may be able to help them. This is this channel is my way of getting rid of a lot of the tennis misinformation that was in the tennis community that I saw from being a part of it for so long. So that's why I took it upon myself to make this channel. So if you could just subscribe to the channel so we can grow this channel and grow the message, I'd greatly appreciate it. And with all that being said, take care.